I think out of the homicides to date, I think we're at 16 or 15 or 16. Uh, five or six of them are definitely gang related. Um, and and the, the interesting part about some of the homicides that we're seeing is this trend with guns. So last year, guns weren't nearly as prominent. This year, I think 10 of the 15 are firearms related. And some of those brazen shootings that are taking place in the day, uh, daytime, <coughs> not that it's any good time to be shooting at people, quite frankly, that's the whole violent piece that we talked about bail reform. Um, there's, an, there's a chance innocent people are gonna get hurt. Um, so, or innocent bystanders. So what we're uh, looking at doing is obviously increasing our enforcement in this perspective. These are people back to the whole violence perspective that choose to create harm. Uh, is it a concern? Yes. Has it grown? Uh, certainly it, it ebbs and flows, but we have seen an increase in it of which we've got significant resources uh, towards it right now to obviously, uh, I'd like to say, end it completely, but uh, we're definitely, uh, you'll be seeing different things in relation to enforcement on that end. Gangs can be loosely affiliated, but they also can be significantly organized. Generally, you know, uh, you'll see street gangs in relation to it. So, you know, could be red alert, could be um, uh, certain things from a provincial or a local level. Uh, when you get into organized crime, you're talking generally about bigger organizations, you're talking about uh, high influence to transport maybe drugs into the country, to get it to the street gangs, to actually transport it. So you're starting to talk about you know, things like Hell's Angels, but there's a whole bunch of these in relation to organized crime, you know, in certain factions of the world. Whole bunch more sophisticated, more organized, more resources, not necessarily less organized. Both can be violent. Uh, on the street, it's generally more violent than it is from the organized perspective, unless it's in your Mexico or something like that, when you're dealing with the cartels. Uh, but you know th those are some of the some of the differences that the, the normal human being would do. Generally, the two are linked at some point. When Canada starts trending like the U.S. does of deaths or homicides in relation to police officers, that's frightening. And you know when we have eight, I think it was in six months uh, or six or seven, that's unheard of in Canada. And that basically talks to the lack of accountability and, and the lack of accountability to be very clear isn't generally just the vulnerable it's it's generally those people that are you know it takes another human being to have a gun and it takes another human being to pull a trigger at another human being and those are different people generally uh, and we need to make sure that we continue to focus on that accountability